I'm awful at this. I am so out of practice. I'm sorry. Hey Ordinary, it's Kate here. I realize it's been a while since I've made a video and I'm sorry about that, but between my new job and my new apartment, it's been kind of crazy. By the way, welcome to my Colorado apartment. I kind of love it here. It's great. I am mostly unpacked. There's still a box of books sitting right over there that needs to go on the shelves, but you know, if that's the only thing that's not unpacked, that's okay. I've been busy doing all sorts of adult type things like buying a couch. I bought this couch. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so comfortable. But anyway, today's words are all about author George MacDonald. I can't believe I haven't talked about him on my blog before. He is a fantastic author who has had such influence in the fairy tale and fantasy genres. He's widely considered to be the father of the modern day fairy tale and what I've read of his I absolutely love. George MacDonald was a Scottish author and poet during the later half of the 1800s. He wrote a variety of books and stories in many different styles and genres. Like Hans Christian Andersen, he began writing his own original fairy tales, drawing on classics for inspiration, style, theme, things like that, and he really grew the genre of fairy tales beyond what it had been. His books not only laid the foundation for the modern fairy tale, but he is widely considered to be one of the creators of the entire fantasy genre. Writers like C.S. Lewis, Madeline L'Engle, and Lewis Carroll cite him as an inspiration, and in Carroll's case, MacDonald was actually his mentor. I have to admit, I don't know enough about MacDonald's work. I've only read The Princess and the Goblin book and one of his short stories, uh, Day Boy and Night Girl. But I recently bought his famous book, Fantasties? Fantasties? I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm gonna say Fantasties. I also bought four collections of short stories and I, for one, can't wait to dive into these. I think I'm going to read The Light Princess first. According to all the research I've done, this is MacDonald's most famous short story. It's been adapted for stage. I think they've made movies of it. By all accounts, it seems like a fantastic story. So anyway, if you're interested in more of my words, you can check out links below to my blog, Facebook page, and Twitter account. I love to hear from you, so please comment below and let me know what you think of George MacDonald. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and you will see me next time, word nerds. What? Er, what's his name? Dang it. <laughs> I'm so close. How many times am I going to say this sentence? Ah!